How's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video we're going to be checking out some more of the story mode DLC content that Rockstar has added to the latest version of RDR2 and today we're going to be focusing on the new horses for single player. Now what's also very interesting about this is apparently these new horses can also be found for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, even though they're not supposed to. I guess Rockstar has added this content to the consoles as well, but just hasn't unlocked it yet. So as I mentioned earlier with the M1899 pistol, I believe there's a good chance we will see that content eventually make its way to the console. So even if you don't have the PC version right now, this can still be useful later down the line. Now, the three horses that we're going to be looking at today are the new wild variations, which are the Buttermilk Buckskin Kentucky Saddler, the Liver Chestnut Morgan, and the Gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. Now, at the end of this video, we'll be briefly touching on the Few Spot Appaloosa and the Wrapped Brindle Arabian, because the game almost sort of hints at where you might be able to find them, so we'll look at that. As far as the Perlino Andalusian and the Red Chestnut Arabian, these horses have been previously available in Red Dead Online, so we're not going to be focusing on those too much. So let's begin with those three wild horses. And just as it sounds, these horses are not available to purchase at any of the stables or horse fences. You will only find them out in the wild. Now the footage you guys are actually watching on the screen right now is me on my PlayStation 4. Remember, this content is supposed to be locked away on the PC. So for this, what I would actually recommend is going to Pronghorn Ranch. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have saves in the epilogue, but that's actually one thing I would recommend. Now, the save in particular you're looking for here is right after the first mission of the epilogue, which is called The Wheel, which is essentially where John Marston goes to Pronghorn Ranch. He's given a cabin with the rest of his family. Now, ideally, in a perfect world, you would have a save at this exact location. I was lucky, and I had a save at this exact spot. However, even if you don't have a save here, you can still try it. Just go to Pronghorn Ranch, and what you want to do is end up saving so that you can just reload at the same spot. And at Pronghorn Ranch, there's actually this horse pen kind of located across one of the barns. And inside of this horse pen, you'll actually find a good variety of Tennessee Walkers. You'll also find Kentucky Saddlers and Morgans. And what's great about this is every single one of them has a chance to be one of the new variants. So the first time I tried this, I don't think I actually found any of the new ones. I found some chestnuts and dapple bays, but none of the ones that I was looking for. So what I did is I actually reloaded my save. And you guys can see that I spawned right in front of the horse pen. And I noticed when I got in, oh, one of those Kentucky Saddlers looks pretty different. And it was this first one that I went up to here. And sure enough... This Kentucky Saddler is the Buttermilk Buckskin. You can see with a current speed of four bars, acceleration of two, and handling is standard. And you can see that this is a really pretty looking horse. The code description is actually pretty accurate. It's sort of like this shiny bronze Buttermilk and the mane and tail are both black. So a really pretty horse right there. Now, if you want to take any of them, it's super simple. All you have to do is get on the horse's good side for a little bit. So you either want to pat them or maybe give them a treat or something along those lines. And then from there, you can just bring it to the nearest stable or you can hitch it to your cabin. And this will allow you to save the horse. And there you go. You've just got one of the new variants. Now, again, on console, I'm not sure if this is the only spot in which these horses are found. I just know this is the most consistent that I've gotten them to spawn. And again, what's great is because you can just reload the save over and over and over again, you'll be able to select which ones you want. And I ended up spawning in again, and guess what I saw this time? I saw a Morgan uh, that I had never seen before, and sure enough, this was the liver chestnut Morgan. With again, a speed of four bars, acceleration two bars, handling is standard, and you can see its coat there is pretty much like all black, and then the mane and the tail is sort of like this chocolatey brown color. So again, another really pretty horse right there. And of course, you could do the exact same thing. You could take this horse to your stable, to your camp, 
and you'd be able to store it as one of your own. Now, the only horse variant that I was unable to find here was the gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. I spawned in a couple more times, but I really didn't have any more success getting one of the new ones to spawn in. I might have just been impatient. So what I actually did is I went over to my PC account and I wasn't even at the same area. I wasn't remotely close to it. I was in Tumbleweed. And in Tumbleweed, there's this horse stable. And sure enough, outside the horse stable, guess what was one of the horses that I found? It was the brand new gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. Just sort of like in this little horse pin right there. So I think these horse variants are a bit more common than you think. They're not ultra rare. I don't know about the console because technically you guys aren't really supposed to have these, but for us on the PC, they pretty much spawn anywhere. And again, you can take this horse into the stable. You can you know, make it your own, saddle it up, customize it all you want. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. So that is how you are able to find the three new wild horse variants, the Buttermilk Buckskin Kentucky Saddler, the Liver Chestnut Morgan, and the Gold Palomino Tennessee Walker on console and PC, which is cool because it is brand new story mode content. Now the final two new horses to be introduced are the Wrapped Brindle Arabian and the Fusebot Appaloosa. And the game actually tells us how we can go about finding them. So this is what it says for the Arabian. Arabian horses are a superior class, often kept by wealthy owners, identified by their dished head and hightail carriage. Now the black and rose gray bay are purchasable. However, the game says while the warped brindle and red chestnut and rare white coat can be discovered which means they have to be found in the wild. A fiery temperament makes them hard to train, but once broken, they handle well and remain loyal. Their great health and stamina with good speed and acceleration make them perfect endurance horses. So that's what it says about the Arabian. Regarding the Appaloosa, it says Appaloosas are classed as workhorses. They can be identified by their compact frame and spotted or speckled coat. The blanket few spot and leopard blanket are found in the wild, while leopard and brown leopard coats are purchasable in stables. Their willing and manageable temperament leads to easily handling, and this breed of horse is healthy with a reasonable amount of speed and great stamina, perfect for ranch work. So it looks like the two remaining horses that we have to find are out in the wild. They cannot be purchased in any of the stables, which is good to know. So now that saves you the time of going around the seven or so stables in the world. And I want to sort of reach out to you guys for a little bit of help. If you know where to potentially find them, uh, let me know. You can either let me know in the comments down below or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page, which is where you could even send photos and videos of the horses. Now, for the Appaloosa, I think I'm going to check the most common Appaloosa spawns. There's a couple around the map, but I only knew of one Arabian spawn, and that is the white Arabian in the snow. Would the warped Brindle one spawn up there too? So that's why I'm a little bit confused, and I, I think it might be a little bit more difficult to find these, but that is something we're going to be tackling over the next couple of days. Again, you can let me know on my Facebook page if you happen to know any more information about where these horses might ultimately be. And even on a separate topic to horses, I know that some of the other story mode content that was only supposed to come on PC, they can actually be found on the consoles. Like, you can't actually activate them, but you can find the guys that you're supposed to get the bounties already in the jail. So clearly something is going on here. It definitely looks like Rockstar will eventually be adding these horses and probably everything else for the PC uh, eventually to the console. So you guys are just going to have to be patient, but it's well worth the wait because there's definitely some really cool stuff that they've introduced. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. That is where you can find the brand new three wild variants of horses in Red Dead Redemption 2, the Buttermilk Buckskin Kentucky Saddler, Liver Chestnut Morgan and Gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. Again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below or on my Facebook page if you feel like you know where some of the other new story mode DLC horses are. Let me know down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption and GTA videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well 
Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.